Hello friends, welcome back. Till now I talked on uh, DevOps, CI, CD, how continuous integration works, how continuous delivery works. Now it's time to do actual hands-on on CI continuous integration. Uh, not not completely continuous delivery, but continuous integration, whatever is required for automation test as well. Of you. So the very first step to begin with is creating test automation framework. So you are here for the course that means you are already aware about uh, any pro any uh, test automation framework you are aware of how to create it okay so i'm not going in detail how like uh, how and all we can create a test automation framework different factors and all i'm just going to create a couple of test cases so that we can use them uh, for our rest of the process okay so I'll, I'll create one sample test automation framework not not exactly framework but I'll, I'll try to do that okay so the very first step is create a maven project in eclipse ide okay so i'm assuming that you already have eclipse installed okay if not what you can do is you can go to uh, firefox and you can just search for eclipse download okay and you can get eclipse from eclipse.org and the latest version is this one 2018 okay you can download it and install that's pretty simple okay uh, it, 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 it is just like a normal software installation yeah, not, nothing to do in that okay so you can get it from eclipse.org this is the quite simple one okay and once your eclipse is installed what you can do is you can let me open my eclipse in eclipse you need to install some maven plugins or if you are having the latest eclipse the maven is already uh, uh, by default it will be installed uh, along along with your eclipse okay so just open the eclipse and check if the maven plugin is already installed let me open my eclipse okay my eclipse is here so this is my eclipse and here if i go to file uh where new and project okay so i'll check for maven project because i want to create a maven project okay so you can see i already have maven over here maven project okay so that means the maven plugin is already installed into my eclipse okay because i, I do have the latest version okay but if you do not have then you can get it from help and install new software or eclipse marketplace you can get it from here just search for uh, maven plugin and you can download and install it that's pretty easy now let me create a maven project now why we are creating a maven project and all i'm going to talk in some more time in my coming next couple of videos not in this in this video i'll simply create one maven project i'll talk in detail in coming videos so i'm, I'm going to use a default workspace next archetype i don't want to change it now just give some group id i'll give group id as let us say com dot automation talks okay and artifact id uh, let me give as some demo project uh, one let us say okay so what is this and all i'm going to talk in my next video okay so just so this is just kind of uh, your project name okay group id and artifact id just kind of your project name and nothing else to change click on finish now it will create a maven project for you just observe over here it will it has created a maven project for you now if i expand this you can find a great folder structure like source main java source test java then you can see some jre you can see maven dependencies and you can see target folder pom.xml okay so this pom.xml is the heart of your maven project okay and why it is i'm going to talk on that okay so here you can see in the main folder it has created one package by default to you okay and some uh, class in test folder as well it has created one package and uh, one class okay now this uh, you must be already aware this main folder is to keep a rest of the thing uh, other than your test cases okay like your common methods your uh, utilities and all those things will be kept in this main folder whereas your actual test cases need to be kept in this test okay so uh, let me delete this because i don't want this i'm going to create my own 
test okay now before i start since this is a maven project i need not to include a selenium uh, jars from build path configure build path i need not to do that i can do that in pom.xml okay so if i open this pom.xml so here you can find you can find junit uh, dependency is already added by default okay but i don't want this junit dependency okay what i want is i want selenium dependencies and i'm going to use testng okay so how you can get these dependencies you must be already familiar let us say i want uh, just just google it selenium maven dependency okay just search for selenium maven dependency the very first url a uh, second url here is maven repository okay so just look for this maven repository.com okay just click on this and here you can find lot many search results okay so i'm going to use selenium java okay so i'm going to click selenium java and you need to select the version so i'm going to select some stable version uh, let me use this 3.4 okay and here you can find the dependency code for maven here you can find it from maven gradle and different uh, uh, build tools okay since we're going to use maven you can just click over here and you can just get it by default it gets copied okay just copy this dependency and add it under this dependencies tab so here you can see dependencies tag under dependencies tag we should be adding multiple dependencies so i'm going to remove this j unit and instead of j unit i'm going to paste my selenium okay just save this as soon as you save this here we can find it is building the workspace at the right bottom okay now if i check this maven dependency now you can see all the selenium jars are updated fine it, it has downloaded and by default they are added into my uh, build path fine now since we are using a maven project we need to add the dependencies along with that we need to tell which test cases you want to run okay so normally we keep uh, the, the the data in testng.xml right so we need to provide the location of testng.xml where is your testng.xml and all okay fine so uh, what i'll do is i have one uh, form.xml with me where i have added different dependencies i'll just walk you through that so here i have added selenium dependency i have added testng dependency like you can get all dependencies from this maven repository here you can look for let us say test ng and you can get this dependencies like this right you can select the version and you can get it likewise i have dependency for sonar so i'll, I'll talk on this why i have this sonar just uh, remember i have this then i have jira client dependency again i'll tell why i have this i have http client i have this like different dependencies i have this dependency for extent report if i want to generate extent report i have this dependency so whatever required dependency i need i have for now i just need selenium and test the rest of the dependencies I'll, I'll let you know why i have added them okay after after adding dependencies there is something called as build okay so we need to add build different build plugins okay why why we need that because in order to compile compile your code automatically compile means it will generate a dot class file for you right uh, and that that is automatic that's what the function of your build tool maven is it will come it will compile your code automatically which will give you a dot class files right so for that purpose we need to add a compiler compiler plugin okay again you can get it from here itself you can just uh, search for maven com uh, maven compiler you, uh, maven compiler plugin and you can get this dependence you can get this plugin okay just add it and surefire so what this surefire plugin is this is for reporting okay so if you, if you want a surefire report by default maven need it actually so so you need to add this surefire plugin okay which is required for maven and i was talking about we need to give the path of testng.xml which will contain which and all test cases you want to run okay so here it is so under configuration tag you need to give suit xml files and you need to give the suit xml file name over here okay so 
if my testng.xml is present within the main folder then i need not to give any location i just give the uh, xml name but if it is located inside some folders then i need to give the path over here right where it is exact so this is my complete pom.xml now what i'll do is i'll just copy paste this and i will just replace this okay and let me save this and what i can do is i can right click on the project i can go to maven and here you can find update project okay so that it will download all the dependencies now you can see the it is building my workspace fine and the workspace build is completed now if i go to maven dependencies you, you must you must find test ng dependency you must find uh what and all i have HTTP client I have added like uh, whatever dependencies are present over there all dependencies will get copied into this maven okay and where it is present you can see it is in .m2 folder okay I will talk on all uh, in detail on all this okay now my project uh, pro project structure is ready now what I want to do now I want to create one uh, test base Okay, or what I'll do is uh, instead of creating a driver in test case, uh, I'll create in test case itself. Let me create my test case. I'll name the class as test class one, and before method itself, I'll create my driver. Okay, so the very first uh, thing is I will have before method launch driver okay next I will have my test cases so let us say I will have my Three test cases test one, test two, and test three. Okay, so in launch driver, let us say I'm going to use my Chrome browser. Okay, so if I'm using Chrome browser, I need to set the property. because I need to give the executable where the driver executables uh, where are they okay so I'll use system dot set property okay and my key will be web driver dot chrome dot driver you must be aware of, about this web driver dot chrome dot driver and value will be location of my driver where my chrome driver ex is there so it is present in my somewhere here uh, drivers and here it is chrome driver dot exe so i will get the complete path i will just copy this and i will paste it over here fine now I have set this property for Chrome driver. Now I'll simply launch the driver. Okay. Before that, what I will do is I will define the uh, a web driver driver. Okay. Let me import. Okay, and ID driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Let me do a full screen and implicit weight. 
driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait for let us say 10 second and time unit will be time unit seconds let me full screen driver dot manage dot window dot full screen fine so now this is my uh, let us say I am going to put it in before method so that it will get executed before each test executes fine now I am going to add a couple of test cases uh, what I will do is I will simply uh, navigate to some URL and let us say I am navigating to automation talks dot com and what I'll do is I will print the title. Okay, so I'll simply repeat this in my next two test stack. Fine. So okay, let me make it distinguishable. Test one title is Now my test cases are ready. Let me use at the rate test uh, annotation. 